Hey everybody, it's Jody Susan with Susan Essentials. So now we're going to talk about mushrooms and it is so cool. Wait till Carly shows you what uh, we found on the side of a tree. Okay. Um, these mushrooms are amazing. I'm flipping the camera. Say hello everybody. Hello. Matt and Carly. Matt and so, Carly show. <laughs> so right here we have a snow fungus stromella. I'm going to do a close up. Cool. And I just got this on the side of a rotted tree. So that's typically where the mushrooms grow. And when they pop up, it's after a rain. So typically I come back here and I get a ton of chanterelle mushrooms, stromella. Um, I've never found chicken of the woods or turkey tail, but my friends have. And mushrooms are super medicinal, high in vitamin D. Um, this mushroom, All mushrooms reduce stress. Yeah. Yeah. Totally adaptogenic. And this one is known, the old, tremella is known as the ultimate anti-aging mushroom. Really? That's what it's known for. So it's super beautifying. It has so many minerals, similar to like shilajit. Um, crazy amounts of minerals and you can add it to smoothies and eat it raw too okay oh, okay can yeah. you show us where you found that yeah. i'll just follow you so excuse me Nettie. so i found it right here okay so it um, looks like is it, what's that on the side of the tree over here so that must be old tremella so these are not fresh like the one in my hand is not fresh at all ah um, talk about happens. that because it didn't just rain so Typically, like I said, when it rains, they pop up like crazy. And that's why there's no chanterelles. And all back there, chanterelles are like this. Um, it's about this big, yellow. And you can cut them up and saute them. And it tastes like chicken. So let me ask you this. So, so, because, uh, you know, I, I don't have your background. And mm -hmm. I think maybe most people don't. Yeah. So clarify for us the thing that, so it rains. Mm -hmm. The mushrooms pop up. Mm -hmm. How long do you have to harvest that mushroom? It depends on the mushroom. Like there's some mushrooms like morels that don't even grow in the season. Like they only typically grow in April, May. And you only have like a couple of weeks. With the chanterelles here, the season was short. It was maybe like two months. So there's a season. And then when it's in season, you really only have a few days after it rains to grab them because they do dry out from the sun. So, but so then the what, is, what happens to it then? I mean, so does it go back into the earth and just keep repopulating the earth? It'll dry. It can dry and spread the spores for sure. Or an animal can eat them, spread the spores. Um, but for those who don't necessarily know how to forage, mushroom grow kits are super easy. Like I've grown my own lion's mane. I've grown my own shiitake. You can just get a really cool grow kit. Where do you get your grow kit? Um, in Florida, I have a friend that owns uh, like a... It's like a mushroom dispensary <laughs> uh -huh. and it's yeah really really cool but you can actually just go online and learn how to make one on your own it really just comes down to spores and keeping it in a like a shady humid space so cool anything else we want to add to this do you have anything to add about deer oh uh, yeah sure <laughs> okay <laughs> our deer man you love deer don't I you just, I, I love deer i'm a, I'm a deer lover but <laughs> so all around here actually i was seeing that there's uh acorn all okay. over here. All right. Wow. Which is another main food source of deer. And uh, actually, depending on what deer are eating, it's going to depend on what their meat tastes like, just like any pasture raised animals. So uh, I also work on a, on a meat farm, cattle, sheep, and pigs. And uh, our all of our meat is pasture raised, and so it's grass fed and grass finished. There's a lot of deer actually in Illinois that eat off corn food plots. And so you end up getting, oh. you end up getting a more fattier, people say it's a more flavorful beer, but. Uh, you are what you eat eats. And so a lot of times that GMO corn being eaten by deer is being eaten Whoa. by you then. So that's why uh, we usually try and stick to the most natural resources when we're planting for deer, acorns, clover, um, certain sweet fruits that they like. And then uh, it's illegal in Illinois, but a lot of people like to add uh, salt. So, so you're saying we are what we eat, but what do you think about the phrase, you are what they eat? You are what you eat eats. Mm -hmm. uh, we're mm -hmm. eating that meat or whatever that may be, whether it's cow or pig or deer. Um, you usually want to make sure that that meat is eating what it most would be eating in the wild. So, yeah, and I, I think he really hit on a, a chord for me with the, the corn. So uh, I think a lot of people don't even know that their corn is genetically modified exactly. um, to keep off pesticides. And then, of course, the idea was to feed the world which we had plenty of food. We just had to walk into the forest totally. and know what, know what you yeah, guys know, right? right. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're creating this show today, right? Um, let me just bring this back over here to myself. Um, so we're creating this show today because um, so many people don't know how to access the food that's right outside their door. Right. 
So, yeah. yeah. Well, even down, if you go downtown Chicago, even in cities, I was downtown Chicago. I'm picking mulberries, cranberry, hibiscus, sunflower, um, elderberry. There's food everywhere. Yeah. So, and so it, think about that. It's so abundant. We're getting beaten up, eaten up by mosquitoes. Yeah. Tear shield to the rescue. So, um, our world is so abundant. So maybe release the deficit mindset. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Sure. I am going to, uh, and this one, and we'll pick up again. Cool. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to Jody Susan's Susan Essentials YouTube channel.